for joining us for the Trade Eggs Foods 3 Minute Market Insight, the Monday morning pulse report for seafood purchasers. This week I'm broadcasting from Toronto, Ontario, where Trade Eggs Foods had just opened its third Canadian office. Some fast facts for this week. Cod loins and pollock fillet orders out of China are backlogged. It's next to impossible to get containers to ship any time before next year's Chinese New Year. Fortunately, Tradex has already secured inventory for next year, but getting product for spot sales may be difficult. In the news this week, boats are starting to bring in more East Coast pink shrimps, species named is Pallas pandalus borealis. However, it is unlikely that the added supply will bring down prices. The bulk of pa pandalus borealis is destined for European markets, whereas West Coast shrimp, pandalus jordani, tends to stay in North American markets. This is largely based on the proximity as well as the fact that while Europe ch charges a 20% import duty on West Coast product, East Coast shrimp is duty free. Borealis is native to the North Atlantic Ocean and can be caught off the coast of Iceland, meaning that the EU won't charge a duty on a species that is caught domestically. Due to the 20% import duty on West Coast shrimp, East Coast suppliers can charge up to 20% more for raw material in the same market. Conversely, because East Coast fishermen get a higher price for their product, West Coast fishermen argue for higher prices. This scenario can sometimes lead to a false ceiling whereby fishermen price themselves out of the market. This year, that is like, unlikely to happen because shrimp production problems in Asia have drastically influenced global supply. In other news, Argentina has closed a major Hague fishery. The Hague fishery is closed for three weeks due to low biomass that has arisen from overfishing in, pre overfishing in previous years and not sparing juvenile fish. Argentina is a major global Hague supplier and the closure will likely push up prices. Also in Argentina, helix squid landings between January and May were double the amount for the same period in 2010. However, increased catches are not, are not welcome. Research has shown that Argentinian squid biomass is very low and at risk to collapse. As such, the squid fishery is being shut down three months early. Argentina, Argentina is a major global supplier of squid, a species from which global supplies are already drastically low. This closure may further increase prices. And finally, salmon landings continue to be surprisingly high, but prices are not coming down for any of the species. It's uncertainty surrounding Hokkaido supply has pushed prices up for chums in particular. HG chum prices are 10 to 20 cents per pound higher than last year, ranging between $2 and $2.10 per pound. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3 Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.